Virgo. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. So I'm going to be doing your February 2019 monthly general reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And just as a quick reminder, Virgo, I'm reading for a lot of you. It's impossible for the reading to resonate with all of you. And also take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Definitely feel free to watch your other signs. All right, the Seven of Pentacles and the Death card did fall out. Sign of Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, waiting on a Scorpio, waiting to end something with a Scorpio. But you're definitely either waiting on an ending or waiting on a new beginning with a Scorpio. Could have something to do with a job, you know, but you've worked very hard. Now you're just waiting to start that new beginning, whether it's in love, on the career front. Virgo, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go if you'd like a quick question answered quickly. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Facebook Live every Wednesday. Love to have you guys follow me there. Virgo, all of my Virgo subscribers, spirit, sun, moon, rising signs, February 2019, Virgo, your cards feel good. I am using the spiral for you guys. Forgot to mention that. Okay, your central issue is the Ten of Wands. Your foundation, the chariot, sign of cancer. Recent past, very nice, ace of pentacles. Crowning you, the four of swords. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a heavy load, Virgo. Some of you are carrying a heavy load. Some of you, it is with your career path with the Death card, the Seven of Pentacles. It is definitely within your career path. It's here too. Or it has something to do with travel or moving to a new home. You know, the Ace of Pentacles just, you know, literally, really move, moving forward in some way, really. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign male. Aries Leo Sag. Someone that's, you know, passionate, fiery, driven. Actually, this fire sign male could be coming in and literally just dumping their bullshit on you. You know, things that aren't really your problem. So you could definitely be dealing with this person at work as well. You know, it could also be for some of you, you guys really need a break. The Four of Swords and the Ten of Wands. You really need a break and now is the time for you to move forward. And it looks like you're going to do that, you know, really in a huge way. You know, it definitely could be that you are dealing with a fire sign that has cancer in their chart. 
or a Cancer with Aries Leo Sag in their chart, but it definitely looks like you're, you're definitely taking a little bit of a break. And whatever it is you're doing, you got big plans, my friends. Especially if it's a new career path. For some of you, this fire sign is either traveling or is at a distance from you. And, and they definitely want to start something new with you. And this definitely could be in business. I do feel like you're not on speaking terms with this fire sign or if it's a cancer. But whatever it is, though, Virgo, it's heavy. But it is coming to an end. I mean, literally, you know, you have the, this is a 10. It, you know, you're still moving forward. You're almost at the end of this cycle. You got big plans, really. And it's still January. Even though this is February's reading, you're actually getting this reading today, which is January 25th. And this is in the recent past. For some of you, this could have already happened. Let's clarify. I'm going to use a distant past for you guys. Distant past. I want to see what this Ten of Wands is first and foremost. Really, with that death card falling out and the, and the seven, you could be really be waiting, literally waiting for the right time to quit your job. That Libra relationship. Okay, this card fell out. So we're just going to keep it. Okay, you could be involved in a three-party situation. With a Cancer or an Aries Leo Sag. And of course you, Virgo. It could be the water sign. If you're coupled... If, if you're coupled to... I don't want to say this. Okay, if you're coupled and you have this third party or it's your third party, it, it could be like a social situation and they're definitely giving you a hard time. You know, like, look at this card, really. Look at where their hands are. Right? It's the clarifier to what is weighing you down, what's burdening you. You have people interfering in your shit, Virgo, and they're adding to your burdens, to your responsibilities, problems. This could be family members, friends, water sign, and they could be definitely a cancer. Let's 
Let's see the King of Wands. Okay, definitely this one. Four of Wands reversed. This could be someone that is divorced. This fire sign. They could be moving. This could be someone in the process of getting divorced. Definitely. Let me see the chariot. Five of Swords reversed. You're dealing with a cancer that did some bad shit to you. But you know, but they're very sorry. Like they want to apologize to you. You know, they've probably, Virgo, really been in your face, been mean. You know, they could have even been gossiping about you on the job. Some of you might be invited to travel somewhere for work, but you might not go because the Four of Swords is up here. It's upright. Let's clarify that. Okay, wow. The Knight of Cups literally jumped right out of the deck. You're getting an invitation. Listen, if you're single especially, you might have a cancer that's really into you. But for whatever reason, you're not feeling it for them. And I feel like they're trying to figure you out. Good luck with that, right? Listen, I'm a Virgo too. I get it. All right, let's see the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Virgo. Okay. The Knight of Swords reverse. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Libra Gemini Aquarius. That's not communicating with you. Or you're just not communicating. And that's that. You're just not communicating. I'm going to get another one there. Case of Pentacles. With this Knight of Swords reverse. Page of Swords. There's some defensive energy here. There, there, there's defensiveness here. Some of you have definitely been on the defensive in regards to your career path or starting a new beginning. Maybe you're just not wanting to. Let me look at this Knight of Cups. He could actually be this fire sign, a cancer. Um, something, yeah, fire sign, cancer. But somebody just is not wanting to. But we're going to be honest, though, it feels more like it's them and it's I, I don't feel like it's you I just don't all right let's look at um yeah let's make another card there
the hanged man. So let me get another one over here. Okay, the six of wands just flipped up. Okay. Okay, Virgo, first you start out not communicating with someone. You've taken a break. They're coming back, and it's definitely somebody coming back from the past. You already know this person with the Knight of Cups. 99.9% .9 of the time, whether you worked with them, which that's possible, you know this person. Trying to offer you something that's emotional, like a trip, a move, a move to a new home. Or a big move in your career and you're ignoring them. Like you're leaving them in limbo. I'm going to get one more there. Oh, wow. This one. Oh, come on. I can't make this shit up. You have the four swords twice. Yeah. Mm -mm. You're ignoring them. You're leaving them in limbo. They're trying to get your attention. It's straight up. And they're a third party. They might not be so romantic. Or they're trying to, they're trying to be, but you're definitely ignoring them. That's what it looks like. You are ignoring a third party and you might not even realize it because you're in your in your own little world here, Virgo. And your main focus seems to be like on your, you know, on yourself, which is fine. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Your own life, new beginning. You know, your new beginning. That's what you're focused on. And and you probably have no idea you have this person here trying to get to you. But whatever it is, it's definitely weighing on you. It's definitely weighing on you. What's at the bottom of this deck? The Five of Cups. Maybe they hurt you in the past. There was an ending. Like the death card falling out. Your main focus is just, it's on yourself this month for, for, the, for the majority of you. It really is your career. You're just not noticing this offer that's coming. You're just not, you're, you're missing it. So that's why we do readings like this, so that you can become aware of that. So my advice, Virgo, is definitely be open to you know, whatever's coming in for you this month, whether it's love, your career, you know, try not to be so in your head. You're just, you seem to be too much in your mind this month and just focus on one main thing. You know, try to be more open, okay? I love you guys. Hope you guys have a beautiful month, but I will see you guys back here very soon. Take care, guys.